Welcome everybody, my name is Riccardo Tosi, I'm a member of the University of Verona and Actus team. Today we want to present you Chivo Circular Box. Our project starts from Honest Agenda 2030 SDGs. We have identified the 9th and the 12th. The goal 9 consists in building a resilient infrastructure, promoting and sustainable industrialization and foresting innovation. In fact, with our project we want to raise awareness about circular economy and the second life that the waste may have. The goal 12 is ensuring sustainable construction and production patterns. That's the basement of Chibo. A lot of our products are made by innovative and sustainable system for reducing the waste. Now we'll introduce you the reason of our project. Nicola and Katerina, let's do it. What comes to your mind when you think about the term food waste? The Christmas lunch leftovers you couldn't eat? Or the expired yogurt that you forgot in your fridge? Unfortunately, food waste isn't just that. For this reason, today we are going to show you what happens before food reaches your table. Are you ready? In a world where more than 700 million people suffer from hunger and 2 billion people fight against obesity or overweight, how is it possible that we keep wasting a third of all the food we produce? However, something good is happening and we are taking action. Chibo wants to reduce food losses at a different point in the supply chain, which means not at the end but at the root, the industrial processing, where 16.9 million tons are wasted in Europe every year. For example, when you press grapes, the skin will always remain. For this reason, we should take action on those processes in which waste is necessarily generated and in which it isn't enough to optimize the process itself. What do you usually toast with to celebrate a new beginning? The answer is in wine. Wine is part of our everyday life, our celebration, and in addition, a typical product of our territory. 47.2 million hectoliters of wine were produced last year in Italy. Not a few. But you should know that 17 kilos of pomes must be disposed every 100 liters of wine produced. Pomes refers to the waste of the berry and of the grape produced as a consequence of the present process and of the removal of the juice. As you can notice in the figure, the skin of the grape represents an average 10-20% of the weight of the entire grape. So, which is the future of this waste? Firstly, it can be given to distilleries to produce grappa, but the yield of this process is only 5%. Alternatively, pomes is sent to the livestock sector, which is responsible for 4.4 of the global CO2 emissions, or it is used for biogas production, a process that can release some pollutants which are up to 240 times more powerful than CO2, like N2O. It seems clear that the current uses of this byproduct don't fully protect the environment. Moreover, they don't even do justice to a waste, which otherwise could be a rare source thanks to its bioactive and beneficial compound it contains. Grape pomaces are characterized by high content of phenolics due to an incomplete extraction during the winemaking process. These phenolics are secondary plant metabolites with potential beneficial effects on human health because of their antioxidant activity and antimicrobial, antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties. They are also rich in fiber and minerals. So today we will discover how this byproduct can be exploited to its full potential, how it can be used again for human consumption and reach your table thanks to simple and sustainable processes in line with waste food hierarchy. Would you like to try this muffin too? Soon it will be available thanks to our box, which will arrive directly at your home or will be available for you at our pickup points. Inside, you will find a local product, which is a symbol of the circularity of our box with other locally produced ingredients that will help you adopt it into your daily diet in a healthy and tasty way. Can you identify which one comes from food waste? 
This is the pumice powder, obtained from a relatively simple drying process at a low temperature, less than 60 degrees Celsius, and grinding of the peel only in order to preserve the characteristics of the low material and obtain a fine powder, suitable for food application and with a long shelf life. For the processing of 1,000 tons per year of processed pumice, assuming an initial humidity of 60%, a content in seeds of 20% by weight, a residual humidity after drying at 5%, and a loss of 10% during processing, estimate a production of 300 tons a year of flour. You too should have understood how this alternative use of pumice is advantages, which is why it arouses different interest also in winemakers. Also because this would lead to an economic valorization of their byproducts as well. Until now, this process is was carried out on a laboratory scale in the University of Verona. But with the SIBO project, we were able to find some suppliers able to industrialize the process, which, if correctly set, can also be applied to other byproducts. In fact, even if we have decided to start with this particular byproduct, we don't want to stop here. Our idea is to enhance other byproducts such as pomegranate, peel, radicchio, and so on. The choice is wide, and the local producers have shown interest in the project. We are dialoguing to establish solid and lasting partnership for the purpose of enhancing the realities of the territory that marry the circular economy as a production model, from raw materials to eco-sustainable packaging to communication, with an active partnership together with GoGoFresh to expand our community together. Consumers, however, also want to save time and want practical food. Last year, the sales of mystery boxes increased as a result of pandemic and the consequent increase in online purchasing. Statistically speaking, with no doubt, some of you will join our community. In fact, 40% of Italians have increased their attention to the environmental impact of food products, particularly with regard to light wave or recyclable packaging. And 45% of consumers declared that they uh, will buy more local or regional foods than before. 62 out of 100 Italians have changed their purchasing habits in favor of natural, healthy and planet-based products. Besides, they claim that they are more inclined to pay a higher price for food and beverages that do not contain unhealthy ingredients. 52% of food hub interviewed will be more likely to eat food made from food byproducts. That's why by 2022 we expect to reach about 5,000 buyers aged between 26 and 50 by offering them an innovative product that cannot be found in the supermarket. A product that is ideal for making breakfast and snacks for the whole family, for gift giving, for keeping fit, and to experiment something new. All this will be made while respecting the planet. We have introduced you to Chibo, a box with a different story from all the others. Chibo is a box that contains the love for the territory, the respect for the environment, with an eye to the future. With Chibo, we want to promote a sustainable diet, both for us and our planet. Our journey has just begun, but there is a lot of food waste to enhance. Indeed, many of the local companies with whom we have talked to are excited to begin with this journey with us, and many consumers are inclined to modify their traditional habits and to move towards the consumption of these particular products. Food plays an essential role in our life. And working better together means stopping wasting food, saving money and helping to save the planet. So, what will you do?